Welcome back to a new machine learning tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about the train test split. We will talk about the idea behind it and how it works. Then we are going to be coding it using Python scikit-learn. Let's start coding. I'm in VS Code screen right now. I'm going to be using this code editor. You can use any code editor that you want. As the first step, what we are going to do is, I'm going to close this welcome section and then I'm going to create the train test that IPMB Jupyter Notebook file on Explorer and I'm going to close that then I'm going to select my kernel 3.11.4 and then I will say train test split so let's talk about it train test split is a technique in machine learning used to evaluate the performance of a model it involves dividing the data set into two parts a training set which is used to train the model and a testing set which is used to assess the model's performance. This helps in ensuring that the model generalizes well to new unseen data. So, as a basic example, we can say like our data is going to be something like x and y and x the x side we have 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10 and at the y side we have 1 two three four five and when we are going to train a machine learning model we are not going to take this entire data since we can't test the model's performance if we take all of them so what we do in train test split is let's say we use 80 percent in training data and 20 percent in testing data by the way it's the general usage like Generally, we take 70, 75% or 80% in training and 20, 25, 30% in testing, but it depends on your data size, 100%. So let's say we take the 80% for training and 20% for the testing. So let's say we pick this part of the data. Also, I'm going to press enter on here. We pick this part of the data in here like this into training and we are going to train our model with these values and we are going to get equation for the prediction and then we are going to use our model like I'm going to cut that so this is the testing data we have right now then we are going to make the prediction on y using this x remaining x in here and we are going to compare our output with this y so we are going to observe if our model is predicting the new values good or bad based on this distance with the actual value on unseen data. By the regression side, we are going to look for the distances like how far our observation and our prediction is. Like let's say the prediction is 3000 and real observation at the y test side is 2500 then our error is going to be relative to that and in the classification side like we are going to have labels like 0 and 1 in the binary classification side and 0 1 2 3 4 in multi-class classification side on there what we are going to look for is if we picked it correctly or not just that so I'm going to replace this and this is how train test split works now we are going to Code this and I'm going to show you how you can do this mathematically. So we need the data to work with. So let's firstly create it. I will say import pandas as pd and I will say import numpy as mp. Then I'm going to create my data like I will say pandas data frame. By the way, I'm not sure why this is in this color import numpy as mp. Not sure, but 100% sure that I have NumPy installed. We will see that. So I'm going to create a dictionary in here like this. And next I will do like, let's say feature one. And it's going to be NumPy random, random 100 like this. And let's say feature two and you will say numpy random random let's say 100 then we will say target and our target is going to be numpy random random integer 
0, 2 and we will give the size of 100 and our problem is going to be a classification problem since our target is binary and I'm going to call the data in here so we have the feature 1, feature 2 and binary column in here also we have 1's and 0's at the target size like target unique we only have 0's and 1's ok so now for the data splitting in the training set we will say train number is going to be train size multiplied by the entire data and at the testing set size we are going to have test amount is going to be n minus n train so this is going to be our mathematical formula in here then let's start with applying this using scikit-learn so we have a function for that I will say from scikit-learn that model selection import train test split and then I will say train data and test data and I will say train test split data and I will give the test size 0 0.2 for getting the 80 percent in a training set and now what we can do is I can print training set like train data actually lower case like this train data and test data by the way as you can see from the index numbers it do the operation randomly so I will say test data it's here and also check the length of the let's say train data and print test data and we will get the shapes like this that shape and let's see the shapes we have so 80% is in here 20% is in here and I didn't show but at the original data we created we have 100 rows okay so in this way we can split our data also what we can do is we can also split the x and y like we can say x train x test y train and y test and we can call train test split and then what we are going to do is we need to separate the x and y on the data like I will call the data in here and let's say x is going to be data feature 1 and feature 2 so at the x side we have this and y is going to be data target like this and at the y side we are going to have this so I'm going to delete them and I will pass x and y this time and also I'm going to say test size is going to be 0 0.2 and when I call the length of the x train we are going to have 80 at the y train we have 80 x test we are going to have 20 and y test we are going to have 20 so this is how we can apply train test split let's talk about what we do in this video I explained train test split basically and I talked about the general values that I used like on the training and testing side and then I imported my libraries and I created my data frame like this and next what I do is I call the data for showing then I showed you how we can apply the mathematical formulas like on the training set we just multiply the data size with the train size we define like in this case it's 0 0.8 and in the testing set we do get the remaining on the testing next we split our data into train data and test data using the train test split from scikit-learn model selection and next what we do is we just do the same operation with x and y and I generally apply this so we have tested the length and we did our train test split operation correctly that was all for this video thanks for watching I'm sharing new videos every week about data science on my channel you can subscribe for more also 
I have a playlist for machine learning tutorials and I have more than 40 videos inside there. You can check from the cards of this video. Thanks for watching again. Let's get to the outro. Thanks for watching this machine learning tutorial. I have a playlist for machine learning videos where I have more than 40 videos just like this one. You can check that playlist from the cards of this video. Have a great day.